What is up YouTube? You're watching the Skynet Gen Network and today I'm going to be reviewing Salem Season 2 Episode 7 entitled The Beckoning Fair One. So last week we left off with Mary. She's digging up this grave and we've really re realized that it is the grave of increased matter. She's dug up his head. She's going to try and bring him to life which is the last person she probably ever wanted to bring back to life considering he's the one who's been trying to hunt down witches and kill them and she's a witch herself so but you know she's fed up with Marburg she's the one who killed George she needs to do something and she's gonna be bringing back increased matter to try and put a stop to all this so in this week's episode we see that uh, in, uh, Mary is performing a ritual to bring increase back uh, to life um, we see that she's spreading this um, grains of salt or rice or whatever it was around the room around the house and it's it acts we see that when he comes back at night when he shows up at her house um zombie increased matter shows up at her house he tries to attack her and we realize he, he can't and it's because of this rice or salt or whatever it is it acts as a force field to prevent him from attacking her she wakes up, she's trying to calm him down, kind of uh, talk him out of attacking her, trying to kill her. Because he still has his old memories, and he knows that he's a witch, that she's a witch. Um, so she tries to talk him out of it, kind of like she convinced George in previous episodes to, um, to um, be loyal to her, you know. Um, she's told George, like, you know, you want to save your town? You know, don't let this guy Hawthorne do this and this. Well, same thing in this episode. Um, she she's convinces Increase Mather like, hey, there's a witch in town. She's that witch. You might know her. Her name's Marburg. Supposedly you killed her. She's still alive. She's still in this town. You got to do something about it. So he's on the he's uh, agrees to this and uh, he's going to be helping Mary of all people to bring down this witch. Um. So, actually, in the last week's episode, I failed to mention this, um, Tichuba did capture John Alden, I did, I, it was such a short scene, I didn't even notice it, I, like, I saw it, but I was like, this can't be, this must be a vision, there's no way that something like that, something that big happens, they only show a clip for, like, four seconds, but apparently it did happen, and, uh, you know, and... This week's episode, they barely furthered that storyline at all. I mean, she has him tied up. She's looking at his markings, little tattoos from the Native Americans gave him. And she's like, oh, you really don't know what you signed up for here. You know, and then it doesn't really go anywhere from there. I mean, you know, so we still don't know what's going to be happening with John Alden. They're really taking forever to go anywhere with that, with this whole plot. Uh, so... I don't know where they're going to go with that, but, yeah. Um, also, we have this scene at, um, so Mary and Marburg are talking to one another. They're standing inside this, like, I don't know, a crevice of some sort. It, it's, it's like a, I don't even know what it was, but it, from what I understood, it was like the entrance to hell or something. It, it's where the, the, um, Grand Rites started in the woods. And so Mary and Marburg are standing there. Marburg's like, remember, these two hate each other, but they're all like acting polite and respectful towards one another. They're 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 playing, you know, they're playing one another. They're really, I don't know why, but I mean, they both want the grand right to happen, but they both hate each other for some reason. Um, so they're standing there. Marburg is like, oh, you, Mary, you've done such a great job. You've started the grand right look how far you've progressed and mary's like well you know if that was the case you know then why did you kill my husband you know uh because remember without george she has no power in this town um no one's gonna listen to a woman uh, but marburg is keeping it a secret so you know she's kind of mary's got to kind of suck up to countess marburg so one of my favorite lines in this episode was, it was pretty hilarious. Uh, 
Mary's like, well, with my husband inconveniently dead, I'm assured my authority until the end of days, thanks to you. You know, you know, she's saying this all politely, you know, it's, it's hilarious because, you know, you, she can't stand her, but she's saying this so politely and, like, you know, the way she's phrasing it is it's pretty hilarious, um, um, the tension between these two. Um, so, as Marburg is preparing to go to this dinner, there's going to be this huge dinner in this episode, and, um, she's preparing herself, she's brushing her hair, or whatever, and she gets this feeling, you know, that something isn't right, you know, so Mary's up to something, you know, remember, she's, uh, she's not just a regular witch, she's like, the witch of all witches, she's like this super witch, from what I understand, and, uh, she has this feeling like something eerie is happening here, and something's not right. And she guessed it because um, later on we see that she's brushing as she's in her room. She's stare, she she's preparing for dinner, and she sees this mark on her shoulder appear. And we assume that this mark is the mark that Increase Mather gave her when he was torturing her. Remember, Increase Mather is notorious, or he's well known for torturing witches and even killing him, obviously. So, I'm assuming she was the one who he tortured, and that's the mark that she has on her shoulder. Um, and as she looks up into the mirror, we see a reflection of increased zombie increased matter, and she's not surprised to see him. She's surprised to see the mark on her shoulder, but she's not surprised to see him. So she, uh, I guess, assumes that Mary's behind this. Which is going to be really awkward at dinner, because she's preparing to go to dinner, everyone's going to be there, so, you know, it's going to be pretty awkward now that she knows that what Mary has done. So, um, you know, during dinner, we see that everyone's there. Mary's there, Marburg, Cotton Mather, and Hawthorne. Marburg's son is there. Um, the doctor is there. Um, so during the dinner, Cotton Mather proposes to Anne, remember... Mary gave Anne a spell which she can use to, so Anne can uh, spell Cotton Mather so he can, that, she w that he would fall in love with her, it's like a love potion of some sort, and, um, yeah, so now that he's proposed to her, she's, you know, she, this is what she's wanted all along, and, you know, you think she's gonna say yes, but she didn't, she's like, oh, she leaves the room saying that she needed to compose herself, and for a second I thought that Marburg was starting to mess with her head because it was Mary who gave her the spell, so, you know, and Marburg's maybe trying to counter this, she's trying to go against Mary, and this is one of the ways she's going to do it, you know, she's going to make Anne not marry Cotton Mather, I don't know, which, this is what I was thinking at first, but then I realized, no, there's something, this is not why she left the room, so we learned that she left the room to retrieve this book of shadows, uh, which is supposed to have, like, these secrets about witches and stuff like that, and uh, Mary has it, and I think it also has stuff about Mary that she wants to know. Um, so she sends Anne Hale to smuggle this book out of this library in the, in the house, um, and that's why she leaves, you know. And um, during the dinner, we see that Tichuba is trying to keep her Mary's son in, uh, well... I, at first, she wants him to to take him into the woods, so to protect him from Countess Marburg. But then, Ma but uh, he's being stubborn. He doesn't want to go anywhere. So uh, she continues to try to persuade him to let's go. Let's get out of here. You're in danger here. Like you know. Um, but he's like, oh, my mom said it's for me to stay here, and he's being real stubborn, and he doesn't want to go anywhere, and he ends up running out of the room, and where do you think he ends up running out to? He ends up going to the dining room where everyone is at. Remember, this kid is, she, she Mary has not told anyone about this kid, and so every, when he runs out, everyone's like, who the hell is this guy, you know? And Mary's like, you see Mary's face, and a tear goes down her face, you know, Countess Marburg is like, who is this precious thing? You know, and we, you know, she, she lies. She's like, Mary lies. She's like, well, this is one of George's nephews. And Marburg's like, well, what happened to his parents? And Mary's like, oh, Indians killed him or something. 
Yeah, I don't know how much Marburg bought that story, but I'm assuming that Marburg, in the future episodes, might be using him against her. It will be interesting to see um, what happens there. Um, at the end of the dinner, we see that um, Anne meets up with Cotton. Cotton's like, did you think about what I asked you earlier? And she's like, yeah, I actually will accept that offer now. <laughs> You know, and then the camera just shifts over and we see the Book of Shadows lying there on the ground. So we know that she successfully stole, she stole the book. Now she's agreed to marry Cotton. And, uh, yeah. So that was that. Um, last week we also saw Mercy. She ended up killing her friend Dolly and smearing her blood all over herself. And we see that this kind of... I don't want to say it cures her, it, it, it kind of he temporarily heals her, it's like a, it masks her hideousness. it, you know, all the burns that she had on her, the blood that she smears on herself, it covers that up, she looks perfect, she looks human, she looks better than ever, actually, uh, she looks really pretty and everything, and um, and we really realize this episode that she needs to continue to spread this blood on herself to maintain her appearance as, you know, as a human and not this burned up demon looking thing that she looked like in the previous episodes um so this week we see that she kills this the girl from a couple of episodes ago that went down the the, the well um uh, and remember she threw up into the water that made mary marburg attack mary yeah so that episode so that girl she ended up um, mercy ended up killing that girl and smearing that blood all over her to keep up with that appearance uh so it's gonna be interesting in the next couple of episodes to see to see what happens because we now know that mercy has to kill an episode um a character someone every episode or so it seems and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see Maybe she's going to have to kill more than one person every episode to keep up. We don't know how powerful this spell is. Maybe it's kill one today, kill two tomorrow, and kill three the next day. So it's going to be interesting to see that. Um, uh, we'll see where that goes. Um, the last scene in this episode, we see that Cotton Mather is in his house. It's very similar to what we've seen uh, before with... Uh, Cotton Mather sitting in his house and someone barges into his house. We saw this in like what episode two when uh, Mather's in his house and John Alden just bursts in and you know and Cotton Mather's like, oh, you're supposed to be dead. Well, same thing in this episode. At the end of this episode, it's very repetitive. Um, it's like Increase Mather shows up and Cotton Mather's like, oh no, you're supposed to be dead. It's like, what the hell? Can we switch up some of these lines? I mean, why are we repeating the same exact words? It's like the same exact ending with just different character who barges into the house but yeah that was the end of that episode um it was better than last week's episode i mean a lot of stuff happened this week um last week's episode was okay i mean it was the worst episode of the season uh the ending was pretty good this week it was a better episode um not great but still really good um um for the most part um it's gonna be interesting, like I said, to see what where they take this show for the next what? How many episodes? There's six more episodes I think left of this season. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be another season. I'm about to check this right now. Maybe there will be. As of right now, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I'm not seeing anything right now. There might not be a season three, and quite frankly, I really don't, I really hope there won't be a season three, because it's just not a show that they can keep doing for three seasons. I mean, you know, the first show had some accuracy, this season has no accuracy at all, almost. I mean, they're just making things along the way. And, uh, so I don't know where they're going to go with this. Um, it's a decent show worth checking out, but it's not a show that you can really get hooked on. And, I mean, it kind of is, but it's not that great of a show. I mean, they're getting, it's, the episodes are continuing to get more and more ridiculous, uh, within each episode. And, um, the Salem Witch Trials didn't even last that long, so when you think about this series, is about the trial. Well, it's not really about the trials, but it's about the period. I mean, 
the trial, they didn't last too long. They lasted, I mean, seriously. The witch trials lasted for like a year. So this havoc of people being scared of witches really was like a year. I mean, I think it might have been like three years total, but really it was one year. The other two years were like, eh. One one or two person might have been, three people might have been accused of being a witch, but it wasn't really this that much havoc. So them doing three seasons, I just I just don't get it. I, I really don't think there should be a third season. But if there is, whatever, I'll watch it and we'll see where it goes. Um, but yeah, that has been my review of this episode. It's a pretty decent episode, better than last week's. Um, if you still haven't watched the series, uh, try and watch it, see if you like it. You know, it might some people might like it, some people may not. Uh, it's worth checking out. There's nothing really great, like I said in my other videos. There's nothing really on right now that's great anyway, so you might as well give it a shot. I mean, once we get into the summer, we'll start getting some better shows that people might not want to watch this show, so get into it now, try and see if you like it or not, and if you don't, well, you don't, if you do, then, you know, I guess catch up and start watching, there's six episodes up to the season, and, uh, yeah, so guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe below, and as always, I will see you next time for another Salem review or other videos, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, I'll see you.